So um, just a few things to think about well, now that we've got light support. And one of those is the fact that Forest Pack's always been able to support scattering groups, but now those groups can include lights. So this is going to be really useful when you've got things like street lamps and that kind of thing where you want to combine geometry and lighting. So in this case here, I've got a, just a stick with a light on top of it. Um, and the important thing is that you have to add it using the add multiple option. That's how you add groups to Forest Pack. Another nice thing for Corona users is that you can actually use forest color in the text map slot to randomize the lights per instance. So not only can we scatter lights with uh, Corona, we can randomize them. And another nice bonus for Corona users is that light mix works with lights scattered with forest pack. So you can do everything you'd expect to be able to do with lights as normal um, in Corona. Um, even though they've been scattered with forest packs. So you've got a tremendous amount of control there. Now, V-Way, you can do this too, but you do have to instantiate the lights first using forest tools. So there's, there's, there's a limitation there at the moment that um, we need a little bit of help from Chaos Group to get around. So this is, um, this is our big news, but there's a lot more as well. So in addition to this, another handy thing that we've got in Forest Pack 7 is the ability to color correct entire scatters. So you know how it is we get um, objects we're scattering in from lots and lots of different sources. And until now, if you wanted to color correct, you'd have to do it per material. And sometimes these are huge multi sub object materials. So what we've got now is one global set of controls in the materials rollout that lets me change every object that's in this forest pack system. So for example, I can come in and I can shift the hue around like so. I can, and it's gonna change it quite abruptly to show off uh, how this works. I can change the brightness and I can change the saturation. And the idea of the view here is to try and get these 50 odd rocks that are in the scatter all with different materials to blend in with the um, texture on the ground plane a little bit more. And you can see that that's worked. So to take another example though, what about if we have trees? These trees are a little brown for my taste for this scene. So we want to shift them so that they're more green. That's easy enough with this color correct, but of course that's color corrected the trunks and uh, the cones on the branches and everything else. So what you can do instead is you can choose to apply it to just a particular hue and range. So instead of having to go in and mask out, you can just say, I only want this range of colors to be color corrected. And that's a big time saver.